Hello readers, I want to read for you the second story in our reading packet called Esperanza's Paintings. Please remember that you should always start with the directions, read the story, okay, circle story reminds you that this is of the genre fiction, then answer questions 25 through 31. Okay, read the questions first because it tunes your brain into, you know, certain areas that you should be thinking about. Now, it's impossible to keep all the questions in your head throughout the whole reading, but if you can circle important parts of the text or you can key in on clue words or keywords, that's going to help you. It keeps you interested. It's almost like a game. Like if you're reading and you go, oh, I heard that clue word in one of the questions, you're going to make a special mark in your, your reading to remember to come back to that spot. Okay. Question 25. Which sentence from the story shows that Esperanza is embarrassed that the art teacher has her painting? So we're going to try to keep our mind open for being embarrassed in something about an art teacher. 26. Why doesn't Esperanza want Robert to see her painting? Okay, so something about Robert and her painting. 27. An important contrast in the story is between, so key in on contrast, and remind yourself, contrast means opposite. Or you can go to difference. Okay. 28. The narrator of the story helps the reader understand impressionism. I'm so sorry, impressionism. Okay, now that has a capital I, so I know that's a proper noun. It must be the name of something. Grammar is important. Question 29. Esperanza and Robert are alike because they both. Okay, we want to know about how Esperanza and Robert are alike. 30. Read sentence two from the story. Now, here they say sentence, but they really mean paragraph. I looked closely at my latest masterpiece, which I had been working on for weeks. The author most likely included this sentence to show that Esperanza, okay, so we wanna know to show, we wanna know a reason we talk a lot about author's craft. Everything an author puts into their piece is for a reason. Why did they write this part? Okay, and 31. The scenes in the attic at the beginning and end of the story show how. So there's something about an attic in the beginning and the end. We want to know why. Again, that's an author's craft. They wrote that in there for a reason and we want to know why. So I'll read the story. You make sure... This, these articles are nice because they're numbered, the paragraphs are numbered, and you clearly see paragraphs. Your goal should be to write at least one think track per paragraph. So if you make little tick marks, it reminds you, hey, let me stop to write something. And a think track can be a keyword. It does not have to be full sentences. But give the main idea of each of these sections. I sat on the, oh, Esperanza's paintings. I sat in the corner of the attic and watched dust bits swirl in the light streaming through the tiny windows. My family rarely came up here, so it was nice, quiet place for me to spend time painting. I straightened the easel and pulled my paints from the dusty trunk where I keep them. I laughed as I looked at my wavy reflection in an old mirror leaned up against the wall. I had saved my allowance for a long time to buy my painting supplies. And while I didn't consider myself talented, I loved painting. I looked closely at my latest masterpiece, which I had been working on for weeks. I know this wasn't a question, so I'm just gonna um, mark that. And I know one of the questions had something to do with the attic. So I'm gonna remind myself um, to come back to that paragraph. Paragraph three. I had learned about a kind of painting called Impressionism. Okay, so I remember that from one of the questions. So I'm not going to go back to the question, but I'm going to mark this because I know it's going to have to be important. I learned about a kind of painting called Impressionism on a class trip to the art museum. When you look at this kind of painting, you see an image that looks blurry. Impressionists use 
large swirls, dabs, and dots in their work. The image is not detailed, but it's very beautiful. I looked up when I heard the door creak, open, and saw my older brother Robert standing before me. Hey, Peanut, Padre wants you to come downstairs to eat lunch now, he said. I stood in front of my painting to keep Robert from seeing it. Robert was a senior in high school and had recently developed quite an ego. He seemed to think he knew it all now, and I didn't want his opinion about my painting. However, when I stepped away from my easel, Robert jumped in front of it and took my, pain, took my painting. Here it comes, I thought. He's going to tell me that the style is all wrong and that it does not look like Impressionism. To my surprise, Robert raised his eyebrow. This is really good, he said, sauntering here and there in the attic to look at it from different angles. You should take it to school and show the art teacher. I shook my head and we headed downstairs for lunch. The following week, I saw a flyer at the community center asking for volunteers to help paint a park fence. I recognized the picture of the fence right away. It was old and had lots of character, and I could see it from our attic window. Paragraph nine. You should do that, Robert said. You do a good job, and the city will pay the paint will pay for the paint and brushes. I agree to have some to give it some thought. The next day, my art teacher asked me to stay after class. I worried that I had done something wrong. I wanted to talk to you about this, he said, and took my painting out of the closet. I felt my cheeks burning. How did you get that, I asked. Your brother brought it to me because he thinks it's exceptional, and I agree, he replied. I was inspired by Claude Monet's painting when we went, to the trip, went on the trip to the art museum at the beginning of the semester, I explained. This is a tremendous accomplishment, accomplishment, Esperanza, he said. I hope you'll enter it in the art show in the spring. I nodded and said that I would. Robert also said you might help paint the old fence by the park. I'll be there along with some of the other art students, and I think you'd be a great asset. I thanked him and promised to help. Now when I paint in the attic, I looked at my paint, I look at my paintings, the one in front of me and the one outside my window. So I know they were talking about attic at the end. Okay. So I'm just gonna read the questions and the answer choices so you can do your best work. Remember, go back to the text for your answers. Stop the video whenever you need to. Which sentence from the story shows that Esperanza is embarrassed that the art teacher has her painting? A. I noticed and said that I would, paragraph 15. I, B. I worried that I had done something wrong, paragraph 10. I felt my cheeks burning, paragraph 11. D. How did you get that, I asked, paragraph 12. Question 26. Why doesn't Esperanza want Robert to see her painting? A. She is afraid that he will make fun of it. B, she doesn't want him to take it to school. C, she is supposed to go downstairs for lunch. D, she thinks he'll say that the style isn't right. Question 27. An important contrast in the story is between what Esperanza thinks of her paintings and what others think of it. B, what Robert thinks of Esperanza's painting and what the art teacher thinks of it. C, how Esperanza feels in the beginning of the story and how she feels at the end and D, how Esperanza feels about creating a painting and how she feels about painting a fence. Question 28. The narrator of the story helps the reader understand Impressionism by A, re re um, revealing other characters' opinions, B, giving a description of the technique, C, using dialogue to describe the process, D, revealing her thoughts while at the museum. 29. Esperanza and Robert are alike because they both A, are shy, B, like to paint, C, are helpful, D, like art class. Question 30. Read paragraph two from the story. I look closely at my latest masterpiece, which I had been working on for weeks. The author most likely included this sentence to show that Esperanza, A, does not have enough time to paint, B, wants to become a famous painter, C, is not sure her painting is good, D, has just learned how to paint. Question 31. 
The scenes in the attic at the beginning and end of the story show how A. Esperanza has changed her attic studio. B. Esperanza's family feels about her painting. C. Esperanza's feeling about paintings. I'm sorry. Answer choice C. Esperanza's feelings about her painting have changed. D. Robert's opinion of Esperanza's paintings has changed. Okay. So this is a reading of Esperanza's painting. Take your time. Do the best you can answering your questions. And I hope with each reading piece, you are becoming better at think tracks.